Okay, the gondola is kind of the quintessential Photoshop tutorial. It came, I believe, with Photoshop 5, um, and I think it's a really good example of some of the basic tools and stuff that you can use. It basically simulates what would happen if you took a photograph that, you know, an, a, scanned on a, a regular scanner. You know, sometimes they get a little washed out and you want to make some changes or corrections. Um, but I kind of take it to a little bit different, um, a few different steps. So I'm going to go start with my measure tool. And now a lot of people don't ever use this, but what I use it for is, you know, to find a, something that's a straight edge to straighten your image out. A lot of people will, will go along the edge of a photo, but I tend to find something in the photo that I believe to be straight, such as a building. You're going to go from the top of the building and drag down the center of the building like around there. Now what that does is it doesn't change anything on the picture, it just says this is straight up and down. So I'm going to go image, rotate canvas, and then I have these options but I'm going to choose arbitrary and you'll see that it automatically plugs a number in here and chooses counterclockwise. If I do OK, it straightens that out. Now it may not be perfectly straight and that's fine with me, but what my next step is I'm going to try to crop this and get as much of the black out as possible while keeping as much of the original picture as I can. I'm going to select that area and I'm going to do image crop. Okay. Now I'm going to deselect. In my case I did control D. You could also do select, deselect, but it's you know not option now. Anyway, my first thing that I would do is I would try to pop the color a little bit. So I would do image adjustments levels and I have this nice little mountain range looking thing here. Basically what this means is I'm going to bring the black in a little bit and that means that some of this is actual black and then I'm going to bring the white in a little bit. So that makes it a little bit brighter and I'll unpreview it if you can see the difference here just by changing that little piece. Okay, the other thing is I've got this ugly motorboat out here in the middle that I want to get rid of. So I'm going to go over here and click on my clone tool and you know you can go down and you, basically what the clone tool does is it takes one piece of the picture and paints over with the other piece. In this case I try to keep things on the same level because it's about the same distance, the waves would be the same size and I would go over here around the middle, hold my alt button down and click. And what that does is it tells that I, when I start painting I'm going to start painting from right here. So I'm going to go over here with my brush and as soon as I start painting you'll see the little plus over there and I'm just painting out that little boat. Okay. Now you might have a little area that looks a little funky. So what you could do is kind of click over here and you know paint out a piece there or click again and paint out that piece. Just do it until you get the effect you're looking for. Now another kind of quick thing here is to try to maybe add a little bit of extra contrast. Um, what I can do is I can go down to like my dodge tool and go up here to the top and select highlights because Dodge will brighten it. Exposure, I might drop it down to 18% and I might shrink my brush up a little bit here. And what this is doing is it's bringing the brightness out, making the bright spots brighter. I can also do this on the side of the ship's hull and that'll add it a little bit more reflection and make the boat look a little newer. Um, I can do it over here too if I want, make it a little bit brighter. The next thing I would do is I would go up here and change this to burn and now I'm going to burn the shadows and I'm going to burn it, you know, I'd leave it about 8 and I might drop the brush size down a little bit again now that's going to make the darks darker so now I've made the lights lighter, the darks darker and if I was to revert real quick you'll see the difference in the picture okay now the other thing I want to do is I want to use my magic wand tool and what that does is if I select an area like that it tries to pick up the area with all the buildings and everything but you'll see it kind of over selects so I'm going to drop my tolerance down to maybe let's look at 20 and see what happens I get most of that, most of that that's not too bad so I'm going to go ahead and try that and now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click and then I'm going to hold shift and click the next area and then the next area and then the next area and you'll actually see a tiny little area down here I'm going to click that 
and then an area over here, and I'm going to click that. Now I let go of Shift. Now I don't want to do anything with this area yet. What I want to do is I want to open up this other picture, select all, and copy. But I don't want to just go back over here. I'm, I just basically went back over to this picture here. Let me go back and reselect this. I should have done the other one first. All right. Now I don't want to just do a, a paste because that would just paste it right on there. That doesn't work. What I want to do is I'm going to do this edit paste into. So what that does is it takes that cloud layer and it pastes it back here so I can really move it around a little bit. All right, I'm going to raise it up a little bit so it looks like those are in the distance. Now you look at that and you say, okay, obviously that looks fake. What I want to do is I'm going to drop the opacity now until I think it looks like it blends in with the background. Now I can click on my background again and I can even go to things like my burn tool and burn on the building here and you'll see that it's not changing anything but that building and I'm, I'm way overdoing it to make a point. It's not adding anything to the sky because that sky is on a completely different layer. All right, but you can see even if I wanted to do that, I could. The other thing is with the clone tool, if I wanted to make another tower, I could just shift click or I'm sorry, alt click and go over about the same layer and start painting it. Now I'm already on a mass layer, but you can get an idea of how that would work. And so that's a basic um, example. And again, if I go back to revert, this is what I started with, and in just a couple minutes, I went to that. Okay, so enjoy, and hopefully that'll, that'll give you some help.